And it's Friday, and uh, our Chief Minister is talking with us. And I thought, uh, as we have a slowly, slightly blank canvas of stuff, um, to talk about the MLC situation. Mm -hmm. You voted for five. Yeah. Uh, one man. Yeah. Was that the guy you were sponsoring us, was it? No, I, I wasn't sponsoring. You didn't sponsor anyone, did you? No, I didn't. I didn't well, you know, didn't put your... I, No, I, I assented to two, and they yeah. both got elected. Why Jim. did you not put anyone forward yourself? Well, I think as chief minister, I've got to work with them. Uh, they come in to see me, and, and I, you know... You, you know the, the jobs that as Chief Minister I, I can give them. So I try and remain fairly neutral on, on the, uh, you know, who, who gets in and, and who doesn't. I've, obviously, I've got five votes and I, I use all five. Well, you had more votes. Well, I, I, that's... I mean, I, I, I Thomas did 11 or something. Yeah, I disagree with that, I that policy. I, I think they'll hopefully re review it. I was going to uh, ask you about that. You, you know, if, if, if there's five candidates... Sorry, if there's five positions available, then five you should votes. have five votes and that, that should be it. I mean, you know, yes, everyone wants to be loved by everyone and, and give everyone a vote, but if you're doing that, how are you going to make a decision? So if, I think you should use the five votes and no more. That's a personal viewpoint. It's, it's parliamentary. It's not um, government yeah. policy. So Anyway, it's, it was the last times when, well, you know, yeah. when it was going on for months. But still more tweaking to go, you think, to get this right? Well, you're never going to get a utopia. But I remember when I wasn't a politician and they took 12, 13 goes at trying to get a yeah. member of the Legislative Council. What a total farce I thought it was and how it made... I was embarrassed for the people of the Isle of Man or how the outer, you know, the, the wider world would look at us. So at least we've got five candidates in, all elected in the first vote. We, we can get on with it. And the calibre and the, the, the variance, the, the diversity, this great word we're using, uh, or was it in the end because it's all women... Is that, is, is, is that even important? Is the sex of somebody? Yeah, well, to me, it wasn't. I voted on the capability of the person, the right person for the you know for the job was was key to me. So, I, as it happened, I voted for four women and, and, and one um, gentleman. But um, he, he just missed out. I thought he had a lot to offer um, the people of the Isle of Man. Not everyone agreed with me, and and he I think he missed out by one vote. So. Um, and how much pressure was on you? Because this is 15 people all wanting FaceTime with everybody. Yeah. Was that doable? Did you sit down with them all? I think I saw about 10. If, if, if a, a candidate wanted to see me, I made the time for them. I, if, if they were just offering that you came to see them at such and such a time, then where my diary is, I just was never going to be able to do that. But if they specifically asked to see me, then I thought it only fair to yeah. you know, discuss the, how the government operates and, and our views anyway um, with them so they knew as much information as possible really but also gave me the opportunity to suss them out though I, I did think the hustings was a, a good way of you know, hearing their views and how they handle themselves. And we were quite interested because we, we covered it. Yeah. We got more views than we probably thought we would. We showed mm -hmm. that there was interest out there even though the public couldn't vote but they, did, they do take more interest maybe we, we give them credit for sometimes in want to know who's going to be running the country in some form yeah well I, I've had good feedback from people I mean you know some people are delighted that five out of five were were women and I don't I don't believe that's how MHK's voted I, I, I think they or I hope they voted for for the right person I know I, I did my vote went to who I thought would make the the best job but there was two or three others out of more than happy have um, seen elected that I didn't vote for, but I only had, you know, my, whilst I could have voted for them, I, I thought it was a farce. If you've, there's five people, you vote for five people. And, and what do you think the, the future is going to be like? I mean, it still goes on about MLCs in, in general. I mean, do you, do you see a future for this position? And would it be public voted and all that, all yeah, that stuff well, that comes up all well, the time? If, if you have a public vote, it means they've got a greater mandate than the super MHKs, MHKs yeah. Yeah, so they're super MHKs, so the, the MHKs are elected by the people, so you, you trust, you know, you, you, you voted for your MHK, your MHK then decides who they think is best to scrutinise, you know, the, their main job of an MLC is to scrutinise, but they bring life skills with them to the job that, that can help, and I suppose they can vote for policies without fear or favour, you know, they're not concerned about having to get re-elected and therefore if a, if a long-term, you know, I'm all about long-term sustainable policies for the people of the Isle of Man and if something short-term that's popular but isn't right for the people of the Isle of Man comes in then you would hope that MLCs can vote for what's right for the island Do going forward yeah. rather than just the here and now. Will, will it one day say Howard Quayle, MLC? No. Because? Um, it's 
Well, you, you never say never, but I... I, I well, <laughs> that's the thing yeah, in politics, isn't I, it? I, I have no ambitions to be a member. The, the chief minister's job, Paul, whilst you work, you know, her, the, the horrendous hours go with the job. It's a fantastic job. It's highly yeah, rewarding, representing time your... time when you want to step down a little bit. And, well, you well, know, this thing of it's a nice little way up for MHKs. Do you, do you see that never happening again, or it's still doable? Well, it, it, it is. If, if you've been a busy MHK and you, you're coming to the end of your career, you still have a lot to offer, you've got a lot of experience. I mean, no MHK stood at this time because there's just been a general election, but I'd be highly surprised if you didn't have one or two MHKs oh, two stand in, in, in two and a half years' time because mm. um, they may think, well, I'm not going to stand again and therefore I'll stand as an MLC. And um, How do you feel about that? Do you think it's good or bad? I think it's, uh, as long as it's not um, to, to, uh, to avoid defeat. Mm. If the MHKs, they... Been at least they've done at least five years in government, so they've been elected by the people, so they have a mandate from the people actually. They, they've won an election, so they've got experience of being in sitting in various departments or sitting in Tim Alden Keys for five years. So I think they've got a lot to offer. So I, I think it's right and proper that a, um, an MHK should stand to be an MLC. But what is right and proper is that we took their vote away before they could stand and vote for themselves. Mm. And we've taken that vote off them, so I think that was right and proper to do that. But and I, they're all the ones that got in are saying they'll give it as a full-time commitment. I think. Yeah. I think that's right. Yes. Yeah, that's right. So all, we have to all get five. Out. Yeah, yes. I think there was only one. I think who said they couldn't because they had and existing. He got the least votes, as it turned out. I didn't yeah. know that had any do it. Was that important though for you uh, to I, say I, they were committed? Yeah, I, I think you you want. You know, if, if you're standing there to represent the people of the Isle of Man and, and scrutinise or, 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 or whatever, it has to be 100% your job. You know, I put all my business interests on, on hold totally to um, come in and, and do the job, and I expect, <laughs> I expect everyone else to do it. So, yes, if, if an MLC candidate said, well, I've got all the businesses to run and I can only give you so much of my time, then that really was a no to me. And, and, and the, the, you know, I'm almost interviewing you as if you were a prospective candidate. <laughs> all the same questions I was asking them about, like expenses and the, and the pay structure. What do you think about that? Yeah, I, I've said to everyone that came in that there's a review. I will not be supporting MLCs keeping their expenses because they do no constituency work and therefore shouldn't get it. That's a personal view, but I felt it only fair. It seems logical for most people, actually. It seems yeah. to, they almost, I think they almost all agreed. They, they, uh, well, they all, well the, all the ones I interviewed agreed yeah. with that, so they're, they're not going to get a shock when there's when there's a review. I mean, it's almost strange how it happened in the first place, how that happened, but anyway, that's, that's Yeah, that, that's history, yeah. and hopefully we'll move on. And so um, we'll do another section about general, but are you, are you happy, chappy, with the, 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 the who you've got in there, do you think? Yeah, I, 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 one, one of the... You, you know, won't know until they start well, working. I, I, I'm, I'm seeing them, some of them today and some of them to, uh, on Monday to uh, look you know, where their specialities are, where they would like oh, to work. So, because you want to put them all to work? Do they all want to go to work in the sense of being well, on well, departments? Yeah, well, that's what I'll find out. Some when, said they didn't want to do. Yeah, I'll, I'll find out when I interview them. Do you need them? I mean, is it make up numbers almost? Well, there's... Obviously, Mr. Mr. Um, Coleman, for example, uh, did an awful lot of work on the drug and alcohol strategy. He sat on a number of committees. Mr. Corkish was was chair of of a committee. He he was a member of a department and and a member on on some other committees. So the the year of our island is one where we've lost an MLC, and I'll be looking to put someone on that. And they do get this uplift if they get in departments. If they get into a department, yes. Yeah. Do you think that should still happen? Um, well, the, there is a review of MLC um, pay going on, um, or shortly going on, and and I um, will await. I don't, I don't want to prejudge. Yeah, watch this. Let, let's see what the review comes up with. <laughs> <laughs>